Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll learn three methods to change the origin point location in Blender. Changing the origin point in Blender is important because it controls how an object moves, rotates, and scales. Adjusting the origin helps in various scenarios. If the origin is not correctly placed, the object may rotate or scale in an unexpected way. For example, a door should rotate from its hinge, not from the center of the door. Moving the origin to the hinge fixes this. Some modifiers, like mirror, array, or shrink wrap, use the origin point as a reference. For example, the mirror modifier mirrors an object based on its origin, so incorrect placement can cause unexpected results. In rigid body simulations, the center of mass affects how an object moves. For example, if a rigid body object's origin point is not placed at its center of mass, it may fall over unexpectedly. Moving the origin to the center of mass will fix this issue. In armatures or parenting, a properly placed origin ensures smooth movements. For example, a robot arm should rotate from the joint, not from the middle of a segment. Now, let's learn how to change the origin point location in Blender. Press Shift A and add a cube object. You'll see the object's origin point in the 3D cursor position. You can increase the size of this point. Go to the Edit menu, Preferences, click the Themes tab, open up the 3D viewport, scroll down to Object Origin Size, and set it to 10 pixels. Now you can see the origin point more clearly. This is a small orange dot that represents an object's center of transformation. It determines how the object moves, rotates, and scales. Press NumPad 1 to switch to the front view. Press R key to rotate the cube. As you can see, the rotation transform is based on the origin point. It means the cube rotates around the origin point. In the same way, if you press S key to resize the cube, the scaling transform is based on the origin point. You can change the origin point and place it anywhere. Now, Let's learn how to change the origin point. The first method is enabling Affect Only Origins option. Go to the Active Tool tab and enable the Affect Only Origins option. This allows us to move the origin point while leaving the object in place. In this case, an axis gizmo will be displayed and you can move the origin point in any axis. Press G, Z and move the origin on the Z axis to bottom of the cube. Disable the Origins option and rotate the object. As you can see, the cube rotates around the new origin point now. Also, the scaling transform is based on the new origin point. Now, open up the Transform Pivot Point menu from the top menu, switch to 3D Cursor, and try to rotate and scale the object. Keep in mind, if the transform pivot point is set to 3D cursor, the transformations happens around the 3D cursor. Switch the transform pivot point back to median point. The origin can be placed anywhere, even outside the object itself. Move the origin point outside the cube using the origin option, then try rotating and scaling the object. As you can see, the transformations now occur based on the new origin point. The second method to change the origin point is the Set Origin menu. To access it, right-click, go to Set Origin, and choose Origin to Geometry. This will place the origin at the center of the object. You can also place the origin point to the 3D cursor position. First, let's change the 3D cursor position. Hold Shift and right-click Mouse and place the 3D cursor anywhere. Then, go to the Set Origin and choose 3D Cursor. That's it. Press Tab key to switch to Edit Mode. Select the top face of the cube and scale down. Switch back to the Object Mode. Set Origin and choose the Center of Mass. 
In this case, the origin point will be placed to the center of mass. The center of mass, or center of gravity, is the point where an object's mass is evenly distributed in all directions. This is useful in physics simulations, animation, and when setting the origin for better transformations. The final method is to change the location of the object in the edit mode. Press tab key to switch to edit mode. Hit the A key to select all vertices and move the object anywhere. As you can see, the origin points stay in place while you move the object. Tab back to object mode and rotate and scale the object. That's it. You can also move the origin point to a specific location. First, go to edit mode and select the vertex where you want to place the origin. Press Shift S and choose cursor to selected. Then, switch back to object mode, right click, origin to 3D cursor. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial.